Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Allen Tech Gurus. Today we'll guide you through the process of registering for an Alipay account using your phone number and email address. Let's get started. Open the Alipay app. You'll see the option to either log in or sign up. Since we're creating a new account, tap on Sign Up. Now you'll have two ways to register, using your phone number or your email address. Let's first look at how to sign up with your phone number, then we'll cover email registration. To register using your phone number, start by selecting your country or region from the drop-down list. Then, enter your phone number. Make sure it's accurate as you'll receive a verification code. From now, read their condition and click on Agree. Wait a moment and they need you to submit the robot option. Just slide the ball in the basket. Alipay will now send a six-digit verification code via SMS. Enter the code when you receive it. If you don't receive the verification code after a few minutes, it could be because Alipay sometimes faces difficulties sending SMS codes in certain regions. Don't worry though, you can easily switch to email registration, which is faster and more reliable. Go back and select sign up with email, enter your email address, and tap next. Alipay will send a verification code directly to your inbox. This process is often faster and more reliable than SMS. Once you've received the code in your email, enter it into the app. Afterward, you'll be prompted to set a password, just like with phone registration. Finally, review Alipay's terms and conditions. Tap Agree and Submit, and your account is ready. Email registration is often the faster option and works smoothly, even if SMS registration doesn't. Whether you registered with your phone number or email, you can now link your bank cards or other payment methods to start using Alipay for payments and transfers. From now, Alipay creating account has been completed. So let me show you how you can get verified in simple way. Click on the account option at the down right corner, then select balance option. As you can see, click on go to complete your information. All you need to do is enter your international passport or other requirements that they need. So it's very simple but I recommend you to scan your international passport. After you scan your international passport, there will submit. Then you should wait for moments, just three to two minutes. They will verify you. So guys, thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel and share this video to your friends too.